Thanks for joining me you guys. My name is Preston Palmer and in this video we're going over an example problem on how to solve for the moment about a specific axis. So what we have here is we have a pipe that is being pulled on at the end by a force represented by this Cartesian vector. And it is in pounds and our measurements of our pipe are in feet. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to solve for the moment about this line that goes from point A to point C. And so that's how much the pipe is rotating around that line. And so how, the way we're going to do that is we're going to use vector analysis because I feel like that's going to be the easiest way to do that. And first what we need to do is we need to find a unit vector representing this line going from point A to point C we need to find a vector representing our moment arm going from point A to point B where our force is. So the way we're going to solve for our moment or our unit vector is going to be we're going to make a vector we'll call AC because it's going between point A and point C and that's going to go four feet in the x direction and three feet in the y direction and it's not going at all in the z direction so that will be 4i plus 3j. Now we want to find the magnitude of this vector or in other words the length of this line and so that will be that ac is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared and that will equal 5. So now if we want to make a unit vector, remember it's going to be the vector divided by its magnitude. And so we will divide this vector by its magnitude. And we'll call that unit vector sub AC. And that will equal 4 fifths I plus 3 fifths J. All right, I wrote it up here so that we have enough space to do everything else. Now what we want to do is we want to find our moment arm that goes from point A to point B and that's going to be pretty simple because we have our pipe kind of representing that and so it's going four foot in the x direction, three feet in the y direction and negative two feet in the z direction and so we're just going to write that out as our moment arm vector and it'll be four i plus 3j minus 2k. Alright guys, so now that we have our unit vector and our moment arm vector, and we also have our force vector, we can take the triple scalar product and find the magnitude of our moment about the line AC. And so to give you a reminder, our the magnitude or our moment about AC is equal to the dot product of our unit vector AC with the cross product of our moment arm and our force vector. So it's the dot product of R cross F and that will look like in the determinant form and so we're going to have our X component of our unit vector which is 4 fifths our y component which is three fifths and our z component which is zero and then our x component of our our moment arm which is four and then three and then you have two and then our x component of our force which is four y component which is twelve and our z component which is negative three and so we're going to multiply that out by It'll be 4 fifths multiplied by 3 times by negative 3 minus 2, negative 2 times by 12. And so the magnitude of our moment about AC equals 4 fifths times by 3 times by negative 3 minus negative 2 times by 12 minus, I'm going to cross out these, this row and this column will be 4 times by negative 3 minus negative 2 times by 4 
and then we don't really have to write out this last component because it's all multiplied by zero, but I will anyway, just for oh. your sake, well, four times by 12 minus three times by four. And then do all the arithmetic with that and you'll get that the magnitude of the moment about AC is equal to 72 fifths. So that gives us a magnitude, but if we want to find a vector representing that, that moment, we can multiply it with our magnitude by our unit vector, and we'll end up getting that our, mag our moment about AC is equal to, and I'm going to round it to a decimal approximation, get 11.5i plus 8.64j. Alright guys, that's how you find the moment about a specific axis. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.